Hey teammates, Colonel Pat Miller here, and I'm joined by Chief Master Sergeant Jason Schaefer. Before we talk to you a little bit about the public health emergency declaration, I want to pause and just reflect on the events from yesterday. Uh, we were all struck whenever we started hearing the news about what happened at the Harmed uh, Karzai International Airport and the loss of service members and the wounding of many others. Uh, this was a tragic event and our hearts uh, go out uh, to all those families and teammates that lost friends, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, uh, anybody that was involved in that event. Uh, we feel for you. We feel that loss. We know what that's like. Uh, and so please know that we are with you uh, in heart and spirit uh, and your service family will always be with you. With that said, Chief, uh, today uh, I made the decision to reinstate or declare a public health emergency. Uh, this is kind of that next phase as we continue to go through this uh, uh, evolving COVID environment that we're in. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we transitioned to HPCon Bravo Plus. Uh, that was because we were starting to see increased cases, increased hospitalizations. That trend has not stopped. We continue to see a drastic increase in new cases, as well as we're starting to see some serious capacity issues in hospitals, both on and, uh, on and off our installation. As a matter of fact, right now, we have six patients in our medical center uh, that are dealing with COVID issues, and one of those patients is on a ventilator. So we continue to see things increase, uh, and so it is prudent for us to today declare that public health emergency. And that just elevates our concern. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more, and you'll see a little bit more about extra measures that we'll put in place for that, uh, but I'll be honest, uh, we are on a path uh, for HPCon Charlie. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, yesterday, three of our four counties uh, were in HPCon levels, and then looking at the numbers today, that fourth county just flipped into that HPCon Charlie level. And so I fully expect that next week, uh, we'll be standing in front of you again to make the transition to Health Protection Condition Charlie. I know this is not the news we wanna hear. I know there's some disparity between what's going on on the installation and the measures that are in place off installation. Chief. What would you tell folks? Hey, sir, you know, teammates, our, our number one job is to answer our nation's call when they ask for us. We have to be ready. We can't get ready. We have to stay ready. And part of that is making tough calls in the protection of the force. And unfortunately, we're going to see some measures that are going to maybe ramp down some things that we have done or we've gotten accustomed to over the last couple months. Regardless of where we go, and we, many people are going to think we're taking a step back. We're not. We're taking a step forward for you. We're taking a step forward for our force because we need to be ready to answer our nation's call. We need to be ready to act when our nation calls upon us. And right now, sir, we have teammates that are getting tasked to take care of our, our mission. Whatever that is, we have to be ready. And, we, and unfortunately, some of these measures we have to put in place are going to help us get there. Maybe not for long, but the goal is to take care of our team, and that's what we're trying to do. Absolutely, Chief. It's all about readiness. It's all about providing that safe, healthy environment. Uh, that public health emergency will arm supervisors, leaders with tools uh, to direct telework. Uh, it'll give us the ability to flex in some other areas that we did not have before. Uh, and so this is the appropriate uh, intermediate step right now in our march for what I fully expect to be a transition to HPCon Charlie next week. So what can you do? I ask you to continue to look out for each other, continue to take care of each other, uh, you've heard me say it before and I will say it again, stay socially connected while maintaining physical distance. Practice good hygiene. If you're not feeling well, stay home, get tested whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Uh, and as we continue to go through this uh, and we talk about those vaccinations, if you're not vaccinated, get educated. For those military members out there, our uniform wearers, uh, we have the uh, mandatory direction from SecDef uh, to roll out uh, vaccinations. And that's specifically tied to the Pfizer vaccine, which is what we have been issued from here uh, from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And so you can either go schedule your appointment now using that 257 shot number or wait for our pods to stand up. We're still waiting for Air Force execution guidance, which is why you don't see those pods standing up right now. But in the meantime, get educated. Just yesterday, we had a Facebook town hall on vaccinations. Uh, if you missed that, go to our Facebook site and watch that town hall you will learn so much about the, vac the vaccine and what it does and doesn't do and ho hopefully debunk some of those myths that are out there. Uh, and if you still have questions, ask. Find a medical provider, find a supervisor, go, for the center go to the Center for Disease Control and get educated from reputable sources. But know for our uniform wearers that vaccine is coming. We will get more information out 
to you if uh, you are concerned about a medical exemption or a religious accommodation, what that process looks like, as well as how we're gonna institute the mandatory vaccination across this installation. So keep your ears open, expect a town hall next week on Wednesday to talk a little bit more about the measures we're putting in place across this installation. And if we are at that point where we will declare HPCon Charlie. But until then, today, officially, we're moving into a public health emergency. Thank you for your time.